What's up, YouTube? Red Zone 101, God bless and peace. Hey guys, I know it's been a minute since I posted a video. Been kind of busy doing some stuff, whatever. Just was on my way um, home and uh, had a question for you. I was thinking about something and I thought I'd share this with you. If you had the choice of being a surgeon with a 22 or or a clumsy butcher with a 40 cal, which one would you rather be? Well, I'm going to be real with you. I'd rather be a surgeon with a 22, meaning I can put my shots exactly where I'm aiming at, than a clumsy butcher, not a butcher, a clumsy butcher. There's a distinction. A clumsy butcher is not only a danger to himself, but to everybody else around him. Would you rather be a clumsy butcher with a 40 cal? The reason I'm bringing this up is I was thinking about how so many people dismiss the 22 long rifle as a viable option for self-defense. And it just really, you know, it, it, it just amazes me, that mindset there, because it's a, it's a firearm. I mean, it's not a BB gun, and I've shown in some of my videos where even a BB gun, if that's all you had, hey, put the shots in the right place, you might be able to buy yourself enough time to get out of a dangerous situation and uh, get to safety. But again, a 22 is not a BB gun. It's a firearm. It's meant, it's designed to penetrate. Um, you know, but so many people will say that it's underpowered, it's unreliable, and what have you. That has, I'm going to be real with you, as far as reliability goes, as long as I'm using a, um, a 22 firearm that has a good track record of, of quality and functioning correctly, and as long as I'm using good quality ammo, I'm not talking about the bulk stuff. The bulk stuff is good for when you go to the range, you just want to practice, you want to plank, you want to learn how to uh, clear malfunctions. That's what the bulk ammo is good for, okay? Um, and as long as you keep your the gun that you're going to use, the 22, clean, in good condition, and oiled, lubed up, to me, my personal experience, when I'm, when I uh, put all of those factors like into play, my 22s are just as reliable as my centerfire ammo, just as reliable as my nine mil, my 40, uh, my 380, and what have you. Again, yes, you will. There is always the possibility of having a malfunction with the 22 but then again there's always that possibility with any firearm so as far as rely reliability goes if you do those things i just talked about 22s are very reliable now as far as um effectiveness and what have you someone once said a well-placed shot with a 22 a hit with a 22 is way better than a miss with a 45 ACP. I'm just saying, you know. So, like I said, that was just something I was just uh, was thinking about. And uh, let me know what you think. I have no problem with carrying a 22 uh, semi-auto as either a backup or sometimes a primary for my EDC because I'm looking at the strength, the weaknesses. Um, as far as I know, it's not as powerful like it's a nine mil, but is it enough to deter a would-be attacker? I don't know too many people that would be willing to stand in front of a, someone with a 22 long rifle and say, hey, I'm willing to test that theory. It's not as, it's not as effective as the other rounds. Nobody wants extra holes in it. So anyway, that's just my thought. People, I hope everyone is doing doing well out there. As always, want to say God bless. Watch your six out there. 
Summer is not even here yet, and you see how things are going. It's like they're going south. I mean, all these shootings and crap. I'm just saying be safe out there. Watch your six, okay? Anyway, this is Red Zone 101. I uh, appreciate you guys. Let me know what you think. God bless. And wait a minute. As far as the 22 goes, I want to show you a new one. Just pick this one up. This is a Ruger LCP2. Two, 22. Got a little pocket holder here, holds 10 round. This is a great summer gun, a great EDC gun. Very, very reliable if you do those things I talked about. Anyway, again, guys, God bless and peace. Take care. Talk to you next time.